I thought at any point I was going to be flipped and there were tornadoes around uh, and here I am just sitting in my car on the side of the road. Good morning everybody this is Kathy at North Star Prep Stutter in Minnesota. Well while Hurricane Dorian was just wiping through uh, the Bahamas and ready to hit Florida on Labor Day I was driving home after doing my live with you last night and you know I had to cut it short so that I could beat the storm. Well, I was about 15 miles from home and I had to stop. It was so bad. Um, but even before that, <laughs> about 20 minutes before I had to stop for the weather, I had hit a deer. So I smashed my front end of my, of my really good car. But then the storm hit and uh, it was moving so fast. Like in four hours, it moved about 250 miles, and uh, it was a very fast-moving storm. I would not have even been able to outrun it, probably. Anyway, I got caught. Um, I had to pull over to the side of the road, no protection. I was trying to make it to a gas station where I could get under their canopy and under cover, and I was about a mile from that, that point, from that protection. So I'm in my car riding out 75 to 80 mile an hour winds, uh, about 10 minutes of severe hail that was about ping pong ball size. Um, it was the wind, the rain, like I said, I couldn't see more than 20 feet ahead of me, so there was no way I could drive in it to even just creep along to get to that point. It was very frightening to be in there. I thought at any point I was gonna be flipped and there were tornadoes around. Uh, and here I am just sitting in my car on the side of the road on the shoulder. Um, the rains were torrential. I mean, just flooding rains. It passed and then it was pretty calm after that. And um, as I was going through the town that I was only about a mile from, there was street flooding all over. The ditches were full. Um, there were even dumpsters that had been, that were in the ditch floating in the water and so the winds were picking up dumpsters and throwing them around um, so yes we, we can get some hurricane force winds here in our storms in Minnesota time for me to go out and assess my garden too but first I'm going to show you my car all right here's where I hit the deer it just it was dark and it just came out of nowhere I've never hit a deer before in my life so uh, you can see how it's there's some pretty good damage there the headlights still worked but it was all askew so it was not aiming in the right place and and the deer ended up hitting my driver's door too I don't know if you can see that if you can see the dimpling in the car from the hail it didn't chip the paint which is pretty decent but it sure pounded the metal here and dimpled it all over the hood, all over the roof, all over the the side beams here, um, and on the left side of the car. This side was facing north. Oh, look at you can even see how I did the trim. The trim's all dimpled there. Um, yeah, that the hail can hit the side here and dent my car up so you can see that it's there's one yeah I seriously thought at any moment I was gonna flip over and uh, the, the winds were so strong and I had no doubt that there were tornadoes in the area too but to just be in your car out with no protection in the middle of nowhere right now we're looking at um, just massive debris all over the place mostly mostly in the way of leaves and small branches uh, it's like the hail just stripped the um, stripped the trees so it just looks like this everywhere everywhere there are trees it just stripped it the north side of my house looks pretty good um, you can see that there's leaves and stuff stuck to the house but um, the only thing I really do see is this piece of window trim it is all dimpled up. It's metal, so that's all dimpled. But the vinyl siding looks pretty good. 
I think if it had been metal siding, it would have uh, showed a whole heck of a lot of damage. Okay, the biggest thing I was worried about are the tomatoes because I have so many that are um, that are green, that are wonderful and ripening. It's hard to know if there's any damage to them. Um, probably until they start to show their bruising, but. But these, they're, they're pretty hard at this point, so um, maybe, hopefully, they didn't get it too bad. You can see how big my plants are. I have to cut them back because it's uh, too late in the season for me to keep staking and having them grow that way. This little guy is showing some damage here. Luckily I'd picked most of everything that was ripening before. And there are a couple of them here, but I think they were... Um, oh, this one's got some bruising on it right here. So this other one here is what I'm concerned about. Yeah, there's some some hail bruising there. So I think at this point they'll once they ripen, I'll just be able to cut away that. Um, this is a nice big one too. I'm not sure if there's any damage to that. This is a really nice big one too. Look at that guy. As far as the leaves, um, you know, they're, they're definitely stressed and, and ripped, um, but we'll see how things fare. And whatever lettuce I had left yet, yeah, it it's all shredded. That is just, just shredded in there. <laughs> So my pepper plants. So whatever the bugs hadn't gotten, the hail did. These guys just fought for their lives this year and did not succeed. I mean, they're still green. We're still getting some new growth right in here. So I'll leave them until frost kills them. We'll see if we can get anything. But and you know what? Maybe I'll just cut away all the bad leaves. And my zucchini plant. Look at that, it's just shredded. Um, lots of flowers on it, but I had already cut the fruit off and it was just starting to um, develop some new ones, but yeah, I even broke a lot of the stems. Yeah, pretty much shredded the uh, butternut squash too. I did have one little one, but the hail definitely um, Look at that, it hit it and it's, it's just split it. Oh, look at my comfrey, oh. I was just getting ready to cut my comfrey and use it for, oh, for stuff, but look at that. Oh my gosh, did it take a hit. Look at what the hail did to my comfrey. And then look what it did to my green onions. It just decimated the stalks here. They're all bent. A bunch of them are just bent over. I just harvested those a few days ago. These were the smaller ones. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do some garden cleanup here. Just cut everything back and get it down to where I just have healthy stuff left and it won't be much left in the garden. You guys, we, we get severe storms here too, not just blizzards. <laughs> I tell you what, I was praying through that storm when I was sitting in the car and I am just so grateful to our Lord that I didn't I didn't roll, I didn't flip over, I did, there was that the wind didn't take me, that the hail wasn't big enough to break my windshield or anything which would have put me in uh, in danger too because I'd, I would have just been I would have been really hurt. <laughs> so um, there are, there's a lot to be grateful for. Um, of course, like with anything that happens like this, 
you never need it <laughs> but we just have to deal with it so anyway you guys take care god bless and we'll see you next time bye oh yeah and always have hope <laughs> even in the middle of storms all right bye